The rate of unruly airline passengers is soaring, and North Carolina has some of the most offenders. It is a big problem for the flight crew and major annoyance mm -hmm. for people who just want to get to their destination. Tonight, we're digging deeper into how most of the issues are with people who just refuse to wear a mask. We all know that when you fly, you can't smoke or use your cell phone, and you have to wear a seatbelt. We also know that these days you have to wear a mask. So why does this type of incident keep happening when you already know what you signed up for? Aviation correspondent and flight crew member out of Charlotte, Hawker Vanguard. And we're going to try and ask probing questions to maybe find out if there's something we can do on board to rectify it before we need to take a further step like removing you from the aircraft. But really, there, there, there is no arguing with it. We just follow the manual, use our best judgment, and involve the entire crew. I want to be very clear that the violence... The head of the Association of Flight Attendants told a congressional subcommittee that three states, including North Carolina, topped the list of offenders. We have had uh, a lot of incidents out of Charlotte. We have had a lot of incidents out of the Florida airports and out of Texas. And I'm not saying that there aren't incidents in other places at all. Um, but there seems to be a higher con concentration. Incidents involving unruly passengers are twice as high as last year. The FAA says around three quarters of them are mask related. Flight crews have been injured and verbally harassed, as North Carolina based flight attendant Teddy Andrews testified. He said, N word, I don't have to listen to a damn thing you say. This is a free country. And there is a reason that type of behavior can get you thrown off a flight. That's an indication to the flight crew that they aren't going to be able to follow any instructions when we're in the air. And obviously, there's no getting someone off the plane once we're at 36,000 feet. So that type of situation in such a confined space can become dangerous and just plain annoying for passengers around them. Like, what is going through their heads? I know. And, and you know, in one of those videos, one, that flight attendant who was attacked mm -hmm. had two of her teeth knocked out. She's Louise. So this behavior can get you on a no-fly list. It can also, also cost you thousands and thousands of dollars in fines. And you just annoy everybody that's just trying to get to their destination. I mean, do, are you really paying that much for a ticket just to prove a point? I, I just My I don't advice, understand just put your earbuds in, put your mask on, just go to sleep. Look. I don't like that I can't go to the bathroom when we hit before we hit 10,000 feet because you know I but have the bladder wait. of a mouse. Yes, but, but you I wait. have to wait because that's the law. Wait. That's oh, the rule. Rest. All right, all right.